We live. Welcome. We should be live. Yeah. So we don't have time for me to go uh, ditch a deuce. That's a good way to start it. <laughs> um. Oh, I should probably. Not this guy. So I'm setting up some notifications. And we are live. Mm. Okay, that's good. Everything's good. Well, welcome to the 2021 edition of the Marvel Sketch Card Challenge. Um, Sean, what's going on? Jamie, nice to see you again. Um, we are still waiting for the fourth contender who's running a little bit behind. So we'll get into the challenge once he's ready. In the meantime, we'll be just kind of chatting for a little bit, warming up, warming down, cooling down, whatever. Um, but this week we have Jalen Warner in the top left. Michael Monshaw, M2, M squared. Well, wow. hello, everyone. In the top right. And me in the bottom middle for now. And then hopefully when five comes in, he'll go in one of the corners. Um, all right. Uh, Marvel Stunts on Twitch saying he's bringing some people over. He needs to eat. And then I'll uh, check back in. That's Pat. Thanks, buddy. Yep. Appreciate it. Get some Twitch love. Uh, got JD over at Twitch saying that wouldn't be the first person to draw me a silk. I don't know. Oh, no, he says gender bender me wouldn't be the first person to draw me a silk. Well, JD, you're not a Marvel character. <laughs> Could be, I guess, but you're not. Oh, he's a character. Yeah. Is he marvelous? <laughs> uh. Yeah, so it's Pat dropping in Marvel stunts on Twitch. You know, he's uh, coming down from his Twitch affiliate high. <laughs> um, yeah, I was actually watching him earlier. Playing the video game, giving giving away some cards over on his channel. Oh, I think he's doing, yeah, and I think he's doing a live uh, MM20 box break on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, posted well, that. Does he post his videos and stuff on there? Like, you know, like the the little skits that he does. I'm I'm not sure. I think the the Twitch stuff is primarily gaming, mm. and there's all the Instagram stuff. Um. It's got a couple of channels that I saw. Uh, so in the meantime, while we're like I said waiting for five, I'm just gonna do some more penciling on this Emma Frost pinup. Looks like Monshaw is inking his thing. <laughs> well, yeah. Can you rephrase that? <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. That that is pr pretty literal. <laughs> You are putting ink on your thing drawing. There, thing drawing or drawing of the thing. How about the that? drawing of the thing. Okay, there we go. Okay, and uh, looks like Warner is just staring at a blank cover. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. I'm yeah. trying to figure out what I'm going to do here. Uh, uh, is that not a black cover? It is. Well, all right. Well, good luck with that. Then. Yeah, it should be fun. Yeah. Brandon in the house over on YouTube. Sketch guard challenge is back. Yeah, we'll get into the challenge uh, soon. Maybe like 10 minutes or so. Just waiting for five to come in. Um, but so how's uh, 21 been treating you, gents? Well, uh, like I was talking about earlier, I think Bernie Sanders is a uh, replaced smudge <laughs> as the meme of the year. And it's only 20 days in. Yeah. Yeah. 
Let's see. Um, of you guys have seen the Bernie Sanders with him sitting behind the table at a Comic Con. So with the uh, yeah. Girl Scout cookies table. Well, I haven't seen the Girl Scout. Uh, there's a. Uh, my sister sent a bunch of them. It's like one with him and uh, uh, what's his name? You know, from uh, uh, Chris. Chris Tucker. What was the movie with him and Ice Cube? Chris Tucker and Ice Cube? Yeah. Oh, Friday. Friday, yeah. Yeah, so like the Bye Felicia thing. That bit where they're like on the porch and they're kind of leaning or whatever. And uh, yeah, Bernie tipped over next to him. <laughs> There's Sam, there's way too many Bernie memes uh, floating around the interwebs today. Uh, Sean, uh, Sean Forney says, we already did a Feel the Burn cover. Oh, yeah. is that the Winnie the Pooh thing? Yeah. The yeah, okay. Right. Yeah, we're talking about that in the back room um, before we came on. Uh, Jamie says, that's a nice thing. Oh, thank you, Jamie. So um, those of you that are watching, if you don't follow Warner, you can find him at, this is where you say where you can, people oh, can find you. I thought you were just going to be the master of ceremonies there. Uh, uh, oh, geez, where are we at? Uh, we'll come back to you. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you start with the trick questions right off the get-go? He doesn't even know how to answer the trick questions. <laughs> Trying to figure out what I'm drawing. Um, oh, Instagram was it J L Warner seventy two, uh, Art of Jalen Warner on the Facebook. Uh, yeah, that's probably about. Oh, that's all I can think of right now. And Michael, it's Art of M two on Instagram. Uh, and then Michael Munshaw on Facebook, and I do have an Art of M2 uh, fan group or art page on Facebook as well. No, let me put that in the comments. Um, this is called Art of M2, right? Yeah. Art. go and Jalen Warner is uh, no art of Jalen Warner right yeah something like that there we go <laughs> So um, for new watchers, the way the challenge works is there's a deck of cards, bicycle standard issue playing cards uh, that I wrote various Marvel character names on each card. I'm going to randomly draw four cards, assign the character to each artist, get about 45 minutes to work on a sketch card size sketch uh, of that character. In this case, the theme is gender bending. So if you get a male, you got to make it a female. If you get a female, you got to make it a male. Uh, if you get something like dupe, I don't know what we're going to do. Um, and um, if you get a joker, then you can steal somebody else's character. Uh, so we'll do it. Um, is there any characters that you guys want to avoid? Um, I don't know. It's a new year. We can't start it off on a negative foot and saying what we don't want to draw. We have to be positive and just there you go. start the new year off on a positive foot. So whatever okay. it brings us, it brings us. <laughs> um, JD over at Twitch says, do put a wig on. 
There you go. Make it nice and simple. Um, no other rules. Uh, at the end of the 45 minutes, we will pause, pick a winner. The winner is going to get to do a little song and dance number. Yeah. Right? I, I thought it was the other way around. The losers had to do the song and dance number. Well, no. How else are you going to showcase your singing and dancing capabilities? You got to win the challenge. <laughs> um, and yeah, there's no real winners or losers. We're all equal. Um, we're all winners here. We're, we're, we're all, we're, yeah, or we're all losers. Either way, right? we're all on the same boat. Um, maybe we'll take votes from the audience as to who the winner is. Uh, but there is no real prize. Outside of bragging rights, uh, Michael, I think you won once or twice. I did. I I never keep track, but uh, uh, I think you did. I didn't know if we ever really declared winners on the ones I've been on. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, Warner wants Carnage. No, I don't. Why don't you want Carnage? What's wrong with Carnage? Uh, he's just not one of my favorites to draw. It's a lot of just funny because <clears throat> Venom's kind of up there too. Ooh, ego. But you are. Well, oh no, you're doing Venom. Yeah, know, right? yeah, and which is, but he's all basically one color, where you get that whole trying to figure out where to go, black and red and all that stuff. And that's just too complicated for you. Yeah, that's uh, two colors is just two two colors is too much. That, that's where you draw the line. Yep. Good to know. Oh, I'm Scarlet Witch. I have dark hair. I don't know what to do. What even possessed you to get a black sketch cover to begin with? I like, thought I didn't think that was a good idea. Well, I thought well, I think it'd be neat to. I, I might, <clears throat> I might paint on this with acrylics, but I'm not exactly digging the sketchers. I got a black one too. Really? I had a Ghost Rider. Well, now I just feel left out now. I think I have a cable one as well. But I should I end up buying that one? I can't remember. Because with Ghost Rider, it's obvious what you can do, right? Um, but with cable, we're going to do a, with a black cable sketch cover. High contrast. Um, uh, JD says I need to hit that Ghost Rider with some glow in the dark paints. And you should hit that King is back with glow in the dark paint. Do we lose Warner? No. Oh, okay. He's just deep in thought. Yeah. Ah. Uh, Donald says the Midnight Sun's black covers were cool. I can't say I remember what those were. So let me Google them. That's from Ghost Rider, I would imagine. Black cover, let's see. The next one's black cover. Oh, is that the ones that are just gold? Like gold lettering? Because I'm seeing Night Stalkers, Morbius. <clears throat> All right, here, that's what I was doing before I got distracted. What's our hair like? Straight hair. Okay. 
So what's that uh, thing sketch for? Is that just for your own personal amusement? Just for me, just to do. Yeah, okay. Yeah. No, I was just the uh, last night or whenever. When did I do it? Last night or the night before? I can't remember. I was just wanted to do a warm up before I jumped into a uh, commission card. So I just grabbed some stock and just started uh, sketching. Oh. So just to warm up. So that's all. But then since we need to kill some time here, that's what I had sitting over on the drawing table. So I'm going much further with this than I ever anticipated. It's a really nice looking card. Well, thank you. You got a color? Oh, yeah, you, well, you are coloring. I'll get the color. Oh, man. Well, we've been this thing for like 10 minutes. <laughs> the pressure is just too much. Mm. Yeah, I can't. I, I can't think of anything. It's a good thing that I get that somebody picks what I'm going to work on because I'm, I'm uh, Brandon says that he feels like quite the connoisseur he has sketch cards from all of us uh -huh. all of in his collection who's this uh, Brandon Stromberg oh, really hmm. oh well thank you Brandon I know that you like mine better than Dre's and Jay's, but you don't need to put that online because that would be awkward. <laughs> Maybe for you. <laughs> I'm pretty used to it by now. Yeah, Brandon's a good guy. Um, JD says that he needs an M2 sketch card. I guess you do. You do. We can set you up. Send, send a, a letter <laughs> with your request. Um, Sean says, Josh, you should draw Daredevil. Uh, I'll do that right now. Um, Brandon says he can't talk smack. Uh, Dre's still finishing his AP. That is true. Uh, story we repeat is almost ready. Um, hopefully tomorrow. I just bought a new um, brand of extender medium, which is taking a lot longer to dry than the stuff I was using before. So I got to give the paint more time in between layers because it's still wet. Uh, hey, Gordon Wells in the house. What's going on, buddy? What's up, Gordon? Order. Uh, JD wants to know where the silk's at because he's got a problem about silk with silk. Um, uh, Donald says the black covers had art on them. It was black, smooth art. You had to fold at an angle to see. I gotta look that up. Um, <laughs> JD says he can't talk shit. Uh, all his APs are hoarding the mail. It's too late now. Okay. And looks like Warner's doing Daredevil on a balloon. I'm sure that there's something behind that story. Well, then, there we go. That's a true collectible now. Yeah. It actually probably, well, most likely yeah. has Warner DNA in it too because he blew it. All right. I have a larger question though. Okay. Um, why would an artist even have a red balloon in his studio? Uh, <laughs> um, for paper mache, of course. <laughs> it should, are you sure you weren't training for clown school? No, no. It's, no? Um, it's for paper mache. For, for paper mache. Uh -huh. Are you sure it's a balloon? <laughs> uh -huh. Well, be some other red rain. rubbery type product we're not gonna go there you already did yeah i was just about to say you already did <laughs> uh, my phone won't stop binging new moose oh this is why you used to make your moose helmet right for the paper machine on it 
Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's what I did. Like the Daredevil helmet out of did. Um, let's see the. Uh, I got four four different. Well, wait, no, I did like I did the, duck, the moose, the bear, speeda. Uh, Dreadnought, and then the Daredevil helmet out of it. So I do the paper, I do them like I do the kind of the, the plug, so to speak, in paper mache, mm -hmm. and then and then coat it with fiberglass and resin. Oh, okay. So, yeah, then you have a hard shell, and you just work on top of that. Yep. Yep. <laughs> And just paint it up and what so I think with the uh with like the moose head I think the whole thing weighs maybe a pound you know full head muzzle antlers that's super light so oh yeah that's a pound that's not bad Let's see. Hmm. And that's pretty close. So what do you what did you decide to do there, where? I'm gonna I'm just goofing around. I think maybe magic. Oh. She's a crowd favorite. Yeah. I did um, the last card I did for the set that I finished last night um, was magic and I may have gotten a little carried away. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because that seems to be what I do. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm just going to bang out the sketch card in half an hour. Yeah. Three hours later. Yeah, that's <laughs> me thinking of uh, SpongeBob SquarePants. Three hours later. <laughs> Oh man, I'm running out of my color here. Oh, halfway through. I know, it's depressing. Now I gotta go dig through some stuff and see if I got more of that. I'm not playing this properly. But the same color? Yep. Gotta love your refills. Are you pretty um, brand loyal to the Colpix? Uh, yeah. Once I tried years and years ago, I was in Prismacolor, but then people were raving about the Copic, and I started using a couple of them, and then that that was the end of it. It hooked me. Is it the brush nib? Yeah, I love the, I love the brush end of it, but then you know also when you can use the wedge end too for different backgrounds and stuff. So I just think they're very versatile. And then the fact that you can refill them rather than throw a bunch of plastic away all the time. Right. Yeah. yeah the refill. I can't tell you. I was on the um. Oh, what do you call it? Um. 
artist yeah. advisory board for Prismacolor mm -hmm. for a few years. And I can't tell you how many conversations I had with them about telling them that they needed to do refillable markers. They just never, just never did. I think Copic has a patent on something there. It can't be for refillable. Mm -hmm. You can do that. No, the only th the only thing that they have, the only thing that uh, those companies really have in terms of patents are their uh, inks. In terms of, uh, you know, whatever the formulation is. Yeah. I don't know, man. Somebody actually holds the patent for black and white photography. What? Yeah. There's all these people that, I mean, if you go to the patent websites, um, you would. I did. I was looking for something, and then I saw these weird things that are patented. Um, yeah, people hold patents for all kinds of stupid things. They don't act on them, but they own it. So then, if at any point somebody that says, you know, puts out something that's really successful and makes a buck a load of money off of it, they can be like, oh, ooh, that's a black and white photo. I hold a patent on it, so oh, um, that's what it's for. Uh, Gordon says the Zig Cure Color are also uh, Cure Color or Cuta Color are also refillable. Can't say I've used them before, but is that what you use, Gordon? Gordon's a marker, a marker junkie as well. By the way, hello, Gordon. Uh, Tommy Henderson in the house. What's going on, buddy? Hello, Tommy. Thanks for tuning in. Any word from Jay yet? Um, let me see on Facebook. Uh, nope. Just a few minutes. Should be on very soon. Yeah, it should be on any minute. We'll dive right in when he comes on board. Um. Uh, Gordon says that he mostly uses Copix, but also uses the Cure Colors. They're a decent, cheaper alternative with a good selection of colors. And most of these alcohol markers kind of play well with each other, right? I think, yeah, I think all of them do. I mean, I've I've used a mixture of different colors, you know, for blending and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm I'm I mostly use Prismacolor, but that's just because. Uh, you have a ton of them. Well, yeah, but um, my wife used to actually work for um, uh, Sanford Brands, the the writing brands for Newell. So uh, I basically get free markers. Oh, cool. uh, oh, there you go. That that's that's a good reason to do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Tommy. We are doing gender bender. We're just waiting for um, Jay to hop on. He's running a little late, so um, instead of just digging in, and he has to catch up. So we'll give him, you know, half an hour to come on, and then we'll do the gender bender challenge. So in the meantime, we're just kind of working on whatever else we have going on. We're making things up. Or, or making things up. Uh, oh, if you right. rewind a little bit, uh, Warner did a fantastic Daredevil uh, portrait earlier. <laughs> there it is. So. Right. And that is available for sale if anyone's interested. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, shipping's going to be expensive. Shipping's going to be a bit of a pain, but. Might have to uh, wrap it in some bubble wrap or something. What well, could you deflate it? 
and then reinflate it the ex same uh, exact PSI. Make sure it keeps the same. Yeah, just uh, just write directions on the back. Put three breaths in. Yeah, medium sized breaths. Uh. I think Tommy is the one that specifically requested that I make sure that Mojo is included on one of the cards. So I did change someone to Mojo. I have a sneaking suspicion Jay gets Mojo. <laughs> hey, dude. You were the last one here, bro. You pulled the short. <laughs> uh, where is it? I'm just going through the yeah, Mrs. Yeah, it was Mrs. How Sinister. You, how do you gender bend uh, Mojo though? I know. Well, I was making the same thing. You, you put some lipstick on it and. A halter talk and flat. All right, so better question: How do you gender bend Mojo and still keep a PG thirteen? This is not a PG thirteen broadcast. Oh, okay. <laughs> Doesn't right. have to be. All right, never mind then. Let's see if uh, Jay is. Oh, well, he looks like he got my message now. So we're making progress. It's probably in the driveway. Uh, Gordon, if you're in for next week, drop me a message. Trying to schedule the next one. Same bat time, same bat channel. That looks really good, Michael. Really good in the, especially for a quick sketch. Well, sometimes the quick ones are the better ones. And then the ones you slave over again and again and again just look like garbage and there's nothing you can do about it. So uh, Brandon wants to know why the, why the Fantastic Four band that think sketch is awesome bring them back i agree i know i do too that was the whole reason i posted it on the fan group pages because I, as i was just sketching it i was just like it would be so cool if they actually could come out and say hey we're doing an ff universe set well we'll see what the sets that come out this year if the band list um changes or if they just keep on adding more stuff to it I just have no idea who owns the copyright anymore to Fantastic Four. It's the merchandising rights, right? So soon, hopefully. I just hope that they don't pull things like uh, Scarlet Witch and the Vision or any of the characters that are getting into the, the Disney Plus world. So, did they ever clarify with the Punisher? Nope. Is the Punisher on the ban list or is it off the ban list? Uh, Punisher is, as far as I know, banned as of like last summer, right? Yeah. I thought they had come out and said, oh, that was a mistake. It's not on the ban list. Um, I, any ban list that I looked at, had the Punisher listed. Okay. And Deadpool is banned, right? Yes. On most Deadpool, things. Nightcrawler. Apocalypse, Silver Surfer, all the Fantastic Four. 
Eternals, um, Shang Chi, all of those guys. So I think it will, let's see, this is 2021, 2019. So I guess it was Marvel premiere 2017 was my first project for Upper Deck. And, you know, with Marvel premiere, they send you the cards and you get the characters and, you know, that dictates what you have to draw. Yeah. I got two Deadpool in that set. Yeah, I got one. So I drew them, submitted them, and then they come back and go, oh, no, that's rejected. He's on the ban list. I was like, well, <laughs> it's not like I chose that. <laughs> That's what you yeah. said. Wasn't on my band list. Oh, Donald's saying that WandaVision is getting a set. So, okay, so that means that they won't get banned. That's good. <laughs> and Brandon says that at least the Inhuman show was so bad that none of them got put on the band list. <laughs> okay, let's see. Nope. Yep, still waiting for Jay to hop on. All right, so here's the question. When we draw flesh colors, sometimes we add a little bit of green in there, maybe a little bit of purple or a violet just to kind of give the colors a little punch so they're just not so flat and, you know, the same uh, color area. So, like, what would you use as an accent color when you're drawing an orange-colored rock-like creature? Oh, look, he pulled up the color wheel. Purple. <laughs> Purple or blue. Hmm. Oh, Gordon Wills. Look at that. Oh, I saw Jay try to pop in, so it looks like we're almost there, Just setting up his, getting his technology sorted. Uh, Donald says Cloak and Dagger, etc., and the Disney Plus shows are all getting their sets, it seems. So, cool, great. Let's see if he's having technical difficulties. See, um, Michael, you're saying that you add the purples or the greens or whatever to break the color value on skin tones, right? Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, I work backwards in paint. I prefer to, like, a lot of times I'll just do, like, a red wash over the base skin mm -hmm. or green. And then build out the skin tones on top of it because then you still get some of that under base color showing through. And it just makes it a little uh, more organic. Yeah, that's the thing that I really like with the Capics is you can always just go in and just keep blending. Mm -hmm. And I really like some of the. Um, effects and softening that you can get in some of the colors and especially with them with the skin tones too um i think it makes it look a little bit more natural man. okay looks so i've got jay in the back room <laughs> setting up his camera uh that was my mom texting me do you want me to read my text from my mom or no we probably shouldn't what well, your choice is it appropriate no well who knows I'm, I'm going to let it sit and I'll text her back later. Well, if you need to take it, take it. No. 
Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not like we haven't been waiting long enough. <laughs> Just giving Jay grief. He, yeah, he's in the back room, and the camera's pointing at the ceiling. Oh, bring him in. Tell him to reverse the camera. Oh, hang on, we just lost his video. Yeah, it looks like he's just setting up. So, give it a minute. Um... <clears throat> Well, if he does get in and he asks how to uh, get the camera closer to his card, sure. we know the answer to that. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he just dropped out again. <laughs> um. Oh, I think he's good. Let's add him in. Hopefully he's not swearing at the camera. <laughs> Jay, what's going on? Looks like you're... Okay, I, I can't get back to the studio now. You're, you're in the show. You're in the show now. I know I can't see a thing though. Oh, what did you did you flip the the phone? I can't, yeah, I can't get back. Let me try. And he's gone. Uh, <laughs> He'll figure it out. Plenty of time. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. <clears throat> New mutants, right? That's what these guys are. Yeah, but she's also in a lot of the X titles. Yeah, I'm thinking of the. Uh, oh, here, here we go. Uh, uh, she was also X Force or something, right? Yeah. Ooh. She's got the um, kind of the one piece bathing suit with the hole cut in on her chest. Yeah, yeah, but I, I was going to go with the old, high boots. School, the old school New Mutants. Oh, the black with the yellow yeah. underwear over it? Yeah. Oh, I think we got Jay. Let's try this again. Here we you there? Hey, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. We can see you. All right. Are is this? You guys are doing great. Okay, yeah, it's trading card size. All right. Just want to be sure I'm, I got it right. Yeah. Well, we were just kind of working on random stuff. Uh, oh. We, we, oh. Okay. We decided to wait for you. Oh well, thank you. You didn't have to do that, and thank you. It was my bad. I mean, it was, you know, my screw up. I That's apologize. Okay. That's okay. Yeah, it's Friday. <laughs> Friday, five fifteen. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So I don't know if that's coming across too well or not because I'm trying to get the angle right. And the lighting in here is terrible. Um. All right. So what am I working on? Okay. So let's uh, dive right in. Let's put this away. Um, so, J5, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, well, I am probably one of the most disorganized people you'll ever meet, as you are seeing right now. Um, uh, other than that, uh, I, uh, I am a graphic designer who decided he wanted to go back and recapture his love of, uh, of pinup and comic art. And, uh, also, uh, do some stuff about monster movies and sci-fi and stuff like that. Um, been uh, on the show convention circuit for about, 
oh god, 15, 16 years now. And it's been a learning experience the entire time. As, as I'm even finding out today, it's a learning experience. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I uh, also, uh, I do um, enamel pins. That's uh, the, the, the day job. And uh, it's kind of what threw me today is I was putting a, uh, a project together that went a little longer than I want and than I hoped. I had to run out to... Uh, uh, probably the only decent pizza shop in the county, which is about uh, 25, 30 minutes away from here. Because uh, Michelle's going to be working late tonight and I don't have time to make dinner for her. So that's kind of what was going on today. But uh, yeah, the enamel pins, that's something I do. And uh, even though I like to think otherwise, I have a terrible singing voice. Oh, okay. So you're not going to be singing. I ain't saying that. Oh, okay. All right. So. Um... For people that are watching, and we'll do this again towards the end, if people want to follow along with your journey and so on, where can they find you? Uh, right now, pretty much on Facebook, uh, JE Fife Illustration uh, on uh, on Facebook. Uh, I have a pro page on there. Uh, it's usually kept up to date with uh, all kinds of cool stuff. Every time I kind of work on something, working on a lot of sketch covers lately. So that's what's been uh, been going up. Um, there's going to be a couple of new pieces coming up this week too. Uh, there's a brighter Frankenstein piece. I'm going to be wrapping up just, you know, for my own fun. That's uh, going to be available and uh, a couple of other fun things, but, uh, but yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting to see what comes up. Cool. Uh, yes. Yeah, so I just dropped your link in the chat. So everyone can see it. We have people on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch tuned in. Um, I'll keep an eye on the comments. So you guys don't need to worry about it. So okay. let's dive right in. So just to recap the way this works. There's a deck of cards here. Uh, there's a Marvel character written on every card. I'm going to randomly select, like randomly pull cards from the deck and assign them to you guys in order. So we'll start with Warner, then Michael, then J.U., and I'll do myself last. If you get a Joker, you get to hold on to the card and then steal somebody else's character if you choose to. Uh, we're going to gender bend. I'm going to put a timer for 45 minutes. Get as far as we can in that period of time. Uh, and then we will collectively pick a winner who wins nothing um, and may or may not sing. <laughs> Pretty straightforward, right? Sounds good. Okay. Um, yeah, so once we send the cars, give like five, ten minutes to look up reference, whatever you need, and then we'll all start at the same time. Um, one guy that hops on occasionally doesn't wait and he just goes right in so let's not do okay. that okay so um warner are you there yep yeah yeah yep michael you ready yep on your mark okay well warner are you getting first so first card first character is black cat gender bandit Ooh. so warner's doing a male black cat make sure you get the eyes just right for ian taylor Yes, I don't think Ian's going to be interested in that card whatsoever, though. Well, it depends if you, on uh, how well he does the eyes. If I, if I do Pat King again as Black Cat, then it'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Michael. <laughs> you got Big Guy. Who? Oh. Big Guy from uh, X Factor. Oh. oh. Was he also called Strong Guy? Yeah, Strong Guy. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Cool. Well, Shaved yep. head with the uh, goofy aviator yes. uh, pilot glasses. Yep. Jay, you get Storm. So a male version of Storm. Interesting. I kind of like that. Opportunities there. Yeah, I think so. And for me, I get Quasar. Is Quasar? Quasar. Quasar. Right? Quasar is an in. <laughs> <laughs> or in Canada, pronunciation. Quasar. Quasar. That's, that's the Canadian pronunciation. That's, that's French of it. Canadian. Yeah, it's croissant, yeah. like a croissant, but with an R. <laughs> you know, you know, croissant comes with uh, cream cheese, a little melted butter. Yeah. Uh, so let me look up. I'm not too familiar with this character, but it, okay, it is a no. There's a female version too. It's gender bender. The man forgot but, his own rules. Forgets his own rules. No, but I'm, I'm. I Google him. Oh, there's a pregnant version of the male. 
But there's a female version of it. Is that? Well, you don't get to do that one. <laughs> do the female version gender bend it into the male version? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll do. Well, no, what I'm saying is that there already is a version, but. Um, Okay, I think I understand what I'm going to do here. Use the male version and so on. So Brandon says the Quasar. Quasar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you know, not to laugh, but that is funny. <laughs> I'm doing a croissant. You did a croissant. There you go. Do, 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 a, do a gender swap croissant. <laughs> okay, Brandon says. <laughs> Kazar isn't a failed gender better because it's Captain Marvel. Uh, Jan says, choose again. Um, or why don't you just pretend you were trying to say Kazar? Ooh. Oh, yeah. That means jungle chick, with, uh, jungle chick with saber tooth. Isn't that um, Sheena the she Devil? I'm trying to help, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying hey, to I'm, help you. Here. I'm okay either way. I can just tap the marble. I don't care. Or should I pull another one? Just, just pull what? something that you can pronounce. Yeah. Here you go. Okay. Well, song's out of the deck. Nothing with cues. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> second choice. Oh is boy. War machine. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> that was good. Iron Man. That was awesome. All right, so just uh, War Machine. Na, 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 na. War Machine. Let's look at what War Machine looks like. All right. Buddy. Um. All right. So just to recap. To recap. Um, I'm gonna go around and grab my uh, tablet. Sure. Uh, so Jalen is doing Black Cat. One shot. Is on big guy. He has storm and he has a croissant as war machine. <laughs> Gordon volunteers to read them out for me. <laughs> war machine, a female war machine. Uh, let's see. There is a female uh, Iron Man, right? Isn't that the Iron Maiden or something? Uh. Well, there's uh, no, yeah, there's the uh, the girl that's like the current Iron Man is a girl. Yeah, right. and then there's Rescue, which is Pepper. Pepper. Oh. All right. Oh, so lots of uh... yeah, lots of yeah. That doesn't seem fair either. Iron Maiden had some bangers. I don't know what that means. But Gordon does, and he's cracking up it himself. Yeah. It just seems like a British expression, but Gordon's not British. If you were British and you were reading the comic with Quasar in it, how would you pronounce that? <laughs> I'm not touching it. <laughs> I'm not saying it. I've been embarrassed enough. <laughs> but isn't this what this live stream is all about? Is just getting embarrassed for an hour or something? Yeah, that's true. Oh, there you go. There we are. All right. Quasar. I'm actually on Google looking up how to pronounce Quasar. <laughs> <laughs> Quasar. It's Quasar. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. It's, oh my God, it's Quasar. <laughs> it's Quasar. 
the British pronunciation is it's Quasar, and the U.S. pronunciation is Quasar. I'm never going to remember this. Right, okay, so Iron Maiden, uh, not Iron Maiden, uh, War Machine, female. And the Southern Ohio translation is Fruity Boy with Bracelets. Are you serious? <laughs> no, I'm not serious. I don't know. Like, um, Yeah, Brandon says the funny part is that, that this character is in a funky name. It's an actual thing. Yeah, it's a like, like a black hole or a supernova or something like that, right? Um, Jamie says to do female Ghost Rider. Yes, there he is. Yeah, fruity, fruity boy with bracelets. <laughs> Thought I was kidding, didn't you? <laughs> Let's see if I can get the camera a little lower. This one. Female ghost rider. Isn't that essentially what's a female ghost rider? I saw a Blame cosplayer the once. They did uh, this girl had. Uh, kind of skull makeup on like a uh, sugar skull and she had really long like she had a, like this flame colored wig so like the uh, the wig was like bright red orange fluorescent you know, like so it was like a fire hair coming out of a sugar skull oh that's fun okay so jd wants to catch up and see who's doing what so i'll just put it on the on the screen Warner's doing Black Cat, Mancha's doing Big Guy, Jay's doing Storm, and I am doing Female War Machine. Uh, I'm just uh, grabbing some reference photos on the screen here. What is, what is that? Portrait Rock, of landscape. Not Big Guy. Who's doing Big Guy? Strong Guy. Strong guy, big guy, same thing. I got it. Same. Yeah, I changed the name, I think. Um, oh. On one of the trading card, it was big guy. Anyway, it's, it's strong guy. Strong guy, big guy, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Yes. Massive upper body, which should give you a world of opportunities. Well, even just those, those weird goggles, too. Yeah. Um, all right, say when, when, uh, when, when, okay, okay, yeah, you're good. I'm good. Okay, so I'm just gonna put on the timer 45 minutes starting now. It's rock and roll. I'm so much sure what I'm doing. Anybody care to share their uh, planning process or their thought process? Well, I'm going to draw it with pencil first. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, and then go from there. <laughs> yeah, Gordon says Big Eyes is clearly the Canadian version. Yeah. It's pronounced. Quasar. 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 <laughs> Quasar. Um, and in celebration of Gender Bender Night, did anybody think to wear a dress? Dude, I'm naked. I'm always naked during my prelims. Then he gets dressed to finish it off. Yes. <laughs> Heels and a smile. <laughs> um, <laughs> JD says it's Black Tom Cat City. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, there's a whole bunch of jokes I can't even do right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Deadpool. Deadpool. <laughs> Deadpool's fantastic. Oh, Mr. Warner? Yeah. I uh, was going to uh, start uh, watching The Watchmen as part of your recommendation today. Yeah. Um, but then I stumbled upon Doom Patrol on HBO. Oh, right, right. And opted to do that instead and, and uh, just throwing it out there. If, if, my God, that was awesome. Is it good? I love it. I loved it. I only saw the, the first episode, but I loved it. I don't. I think I saw the part. That's with uh, Timothy Dalton, right? Yes. Yeah, I might have seen the first episode. I just can't remember if I enjoyed it or not. I I can't answer that question. Yeah, and I haven't seen Watchmen, but a lot of people have told me it's really good. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Brandon says, you know, with all this harassment, uh, oh, Dre and his perpetuous way is going to start pumping out way over the top KSAR sketches now. Uh, did I say it right? KSAR? <laughs> it is now. Um, <laughs> no, no one's going to question that from here on. <laughs> I just keep thinking of the hangover. Uh, it's pronounced Quasar. <laughs> Uh, that was a great movie. They're a wolf pack of one. Yeah. Um, who's really dedicated to Gender Bender Day and has started HRT? I'm not sure if that is a politically correct anything because I don't know what HRT means. I don't either. Oh, hormone therapy. No. Oh, okay. Is it that or is it human resources training? What's the difference? Uh, Quasar, Quasar, whatever. Hmm. Potato, potato. Um, 220, 221, whatever it takes. Um, anybody have any suggestions on what to do with the female helmet for War Machine? Lipstick. <laughs> Lipstick on the helmet? Yeah. Well, check, look, look at what they did with Rescue. She's pretty much a female Iron Man. But they made her pink. Well, I mean, the shape of the helmet. Oh, right. Yeah, they angle it more, maybe. Ooh, wait, what's that? What was that uh, Transformer? The girl Transformer. RC. Oh, they made her all cute. I'm just looking at the rescue one. Yeah, what was that one? RC? RC. Yeah, that's a pretty cool uh, mechanical face design for a female. If I remember correctly. Yeah, but I want to avoid drawing rescue. No, no, RC. It's um, oh, transformer, transformer. Transformer. Right, right. Transformers. RC. Let's see. A R C. -E. Yeah. Google knows what I mean. Okay. I could I could say show me a Quasar and then it'll show me Quasar. And then it'll um, laugh at you. <laughs> um. Oh, but she's got a full face Dang. in the helmet. Screw that up. Okay, I can make this work. Um, <laughs> Jan says, put makeup there on. And JD says, add cat ears and a bow. Uh, Gordon has a more realistic comment of a slimmer helmet. And Donald says, makeup all over the helmet. 
Wow. Really bad painted makeup on the helmet would be great. Yeah, like the Joker had a bad day or something. I do like the idea of the cat ears and a helmet. That is cool. Cat ears that are machine guns or missile launchers. Hell yeah, we're going to go with the cat ears. Or radar dishes. I got like Wrath of Khan hair. <laughs> Black is supposed to be extremely sensual, Warner. Looks like you're doing the guy from uh, Back to the Future, the professor. No, I'm just doing one shot. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, you sound adorable, not gonna lie. You've seen the anime hype, it's the way to go. All right. Whose dog is that? That's uh, probably mine. I was about to warn you guys, they uh they, they do like to uh Show off, when I, especially when I'm on these things. <laughs> that, 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 that. <laughs> what? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my life. <laughs> now they're a little tuckered out tonight that I took them with me to go get the pizza. So they had a really long car ride. And my dog get totally worked up whenever I go uh, uh, for a car ride. I just go hyper for hours after. What kind of dog you got? I got a teacup Pomeranian and a Maltese. Little lap dogs, right? Wow. Put two of those together and you got half of one of mine. Yeah, one's seven pounds, the other one's ten. Because <laughs> you got pit bulls, right? Yeah. Well, the one's more of a, it's a hound pit bull mix. They're both rescues. The, uh, the male, he's, he's pit bull and boxer. He's about a hundred pounds. Ooh. And the, uh, the female, she's like a hound pit bull mix. She's, uh, and she's down here. Hello. And she's 75 pounds. Jeez. And, uh, she is the she's the more assertive of the two. I always tell people that I, that uh, we've got a rescue as well. She's really? great. She's great. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> what do you mean she's a rescue? She's a purebred. Yeah, rescued her from a puppy mill. She's great. <laughs> She was actually free. She uh, went and got her at the you know the pet store, and uh, apparently she was marked down. She was on clearance um, <laughs> for was it hundred? I think. Sorry, for a hundred dollars. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Okay. And uh, went in, did all the paperwork. Never got billed. Huh. Oh. No, oh, that. that's good. Nice. Yeah, so got a free Jack Russell tear. Cool. They're yappy, I heard. Uh, they're hilarious. Pretty high strung. Mm. Uh, Donald suggests you can always add Clooney Batman sized nipples on the armor. I think that applies to everyone. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> JD says that the cat ear is already on. I need to add V6 nipples now. I am not Googling how many mammary glands a cat had. I don't need that in my search history. <laughs> I think that's something Warner should do for me. Six. Is it? I don't know. I'm just making it up. 
I want to be accurate. Look up search history cat nipples. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Delete my history, please. I'm glad I don't have like a Google smart home or something. Based on your previous cat, uh, cat searches, based on your previous searches, we think you'd be interested in all this cat action. Cat on cat action. Oh my. Yeah, there, there's a rabbit hole we probably don't want to go on. No, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's after nine o'clock. Oh, there you go. JB looked it up. It's actually eight. He took one for the team. Appreciate you, buddy. Even though I could have gone the rest of my life with never knowing. <laughs> now, that's a guy whose history, whose uh, internet history, I don't want to see. No. Nope. No. You want cat nipples? I can look that up for you. <laughs> Hang on. I got a bookmark. <laughs> or he's the only person who knows about incognito mode. So the thing about incognito mode is that it's not so incognito. No, it's just inc- incognito from like other devices. Yeah, so while it doesn't store in your search history or the cookies or everything like that, it does still assign to the Google profile for that device and it continues to build the demographic profile. So uh, Google knows exactly what kind of mature subject matter you like to Google. So be good for goodness sake. Yeah. Or just oh. accept it and... You better watch it. Mm-hmm. Well, I gotta see how that work. All right, well, that's the color I wanted. Oh, man. oh, there we go. War Machine has some sort of glowy that's thing the in the chest. Yes. Okay, we can make that work. Come on. That's dark. dark. Mm-hmm. Michael, how are you doing over there? You seem very. I'm putting a lot of thought and care into my card. There's a lot of pressure with this, so I just want to make sure that I'm doing it right. Well, there's no pressure. Oh, well, there's big time pressure. Terrible. Dude, remember, I'm naked. Come on, there's no pressure. <laughs> Terrible. Let's see. So, Jay, you and Warner go way back. That's my understanding, right? Um, to a show in Youngstown, Ohio, but about uh, 10, 12 years ago, right? Is, are, which one is that? Is that uh, Tiki Con? Dreaming Tiki, the greatest show ever. <laughs> and the reason being, um, well, it was like in an old like Frank's Nursery and Crafts, and the entire artist alley and uh, autograph area area was. In like the um, a balloon. It was a balloon. Yeah, or you had to go through an airlock to get into it, um, because it was all pressurized. So, and then of course we were what down down the row was uh, like the video game booth where uh, everybody was just playing one Metallica one from uh, in Guitar Hero like. Every single that's all you heard all weekend long. Yeah, it was. <laughs> um let's see. What um Margo Kidder was uh Adam. was there losing her mind. Oh wow. Um yeah. Adam we had... was pimping it with Julie Newmar and um Yvonne Craig. Yeah, yeah, Yvonne Craig and Julie Newmar. Um Who's the who's the other gal that was who's the gal the other gal from uh, Superman two? Oh, um, the one who played Ursa. Um, yeah. Crap, I can't remember her name. Anyway, she was sitting right next to Margot Kidder, and Margot was again uh, in rare form, <laughs> just losing it. So that was just a lot of fun. When uh, when you would come in in the morning, the temperature was around thirty eight degrees, and then they would, uh, th- and then the sun would come out and start beating on this balloon, and it was it, the temperature at one o'clock was like eighty six, eighty seven oh. degrees in there. 
Oh. Um, it was dark. So you're trying to work on shit and you can't see anything. Uh, so they, they, they decided to rectify that by bringing in, you know, those construction lights that are just like, you know, a bank of eight oh, yeah. freaking yeah. spotlights. Eight yeah. Thousand they brought, watts. yeah, they brought, they brought that in and cranked that up. And not only did it add more heat, but you can only put those things about so high. So when you're trying to work, it's, or you're talking to somebody, it's right at eye level blasting you right in the face. <laughs> oh man it was just hell and of course the, the thing was was you know we're in this balloon you had to get to this airlock and the idiots put a table in front of the door where the airlock was so nobody knew we were there yep yeah and and then you'd get like some of the uh so the because they were like uh oh shoot yeah they were like revolving doors to get in but if you had somebody that was like, you know, had a disability of some sort, like in a wheelchair or whatever, they would have to come through like the cargo bay door. So like anytime, so it was like every 10 minutes, you know, somebody would come in, open up that airlock. And your ears would pop. <laughs> ears would pop every 10 minutes. Just from the deep depressurization. <laughs> I think... Was Rodney or um, Forney there? Oh yeah, Forney was. Yeah, because I heard I heard the story before because I remember Tiki Con. So I don't know if yeah. it was Screaming Tiki. Yeah, it was a great yeah. show. They had they had uh what they the had best war show ever. Rides. It's still the worst show I've ever done. It money wise, it is still the lowest ranking <laughs> after all these years. <laughs> and boy, there's been competition. There, there have been some real losers there. But, but yeah, that one's definitely <laughs> not a good time investment. Oh God, it was just horrible. But you know, like, the, the, but there was the the thing that uh, they did have a great guest list. I mean, like Joe Jesco was there. Um, God, who else uh, wasn't? Uh, a couple of other Marvel people were there too. Wasn't Tucci there? Uh, yeah, I think Tucci was there. And um, and then plus you had all these celebrities. I mean, you had uh, Adam West, you had Burt Ward, you had um, Yvonne Craig, you had you know, the Super M people. You know, it was just there was all these people there. Kenny Baker was there. Yeah, that's right. Kenny Baker was there too. And uh, sorry, guys, twenty five minute mark. Christ, I'm thinking. Oh boy, yeah, I don't know, man. Let's see here. Been dwelling on Tiki and Tiki Con. Gray. Let's just see the gray here. Jay, when you were talking about the temperatures in the afternoon in that place, there was a con that we were at, and the air conditioning went and was in the middle of July out here on the East Coast, so it was a rather toasty day. Oh God, yeah. And the cosplayers were just, it was a debacle. There's an Iron Man, and there was just like water pouring out of the bottom of his head. God. And then the sweat was so bad that they had to get janitorial people to come and mop up the floors. So people From sweat. Would, uh, flip in the cosplayer sweat that was everywhere. That's Jesus. Disgusting. Yeah, there was another one that. Uh... Uh, it was a horror show down in uh, Lex or no Louisville. It was down in Louisville that uh, April Hunter, uh, wrestler uh, Warner knows. We, we uh, she invited me down there. It was uh, her and her husband at the time, and they had a table set up. And I was working on a couple of projects with her where she had modeled some artwork for me. Who was that? And it? and anyway, so she invites me down to this show and says, "Well, you know, you can set up a April space. They had this big table." Hunter, April Hunter. Oh, okay. And. Um, I get down there, and we're in this convention center. Now, mind you, this is July uh, in Louisville, Kentucky. And, again, the air conditioning had gone out, just like you were talking about. It was – I mean, people were dropping over. <laughs> I can't wait to do a con. And I miss it. Uh, I this kind of stuff. Wait a minute, you've never done one? 
I've never done a con. Like I've I've been to cons as press and yeah. whatever, but I've never actually been part of a con. Oh my gosh. You don't know what you're making. Apparently. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, Josh, aren't there stories we could tell him now that we can't put over the <laughs> Yeah, there's, uh, n- yeah, there's, well, just, yeah, you got to do a con. and there are, there are horror stories you will have, <laughs> all the oh, sights you will see. Still to this day, I think one of the ones that really s- steps up, you know, stands out to me is, I think... It might have been Wizard World Chicago. And Sean and I were sitting next to each other and we're just sitting there watching across the aisle. There was like, there was a, uh, a girl that was like checking something out at a table and then, you know, not thinking anybody noticed, turned around, did the old monkey scratch <laughs> and the sniff. <laughs> and the sniff. That's the best part. And the sniff. <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, you can't. You do you can't. remember, uh, Warner, do you remember up at uh, Motor City, there was the guy that kind of looked like Howard Stern, that they always kicked him out every year because he would come in in like some crazy ass costume and he'd walk around. He never stopped anywhere, but he would just walk the show floor like in a circle. And every time he went around, he would pull the thong up higher and higher and higher. He was a total pervert. He was just like this exhibitionist guy. And every year he showed up. This this wasn't the 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 male Wonder Woman, was it? No, no, that was Chicago. That was Chicago. I meant the, the male Wonder Woman. Oh, how apropos to be in the gender bender theme. Yeah. Oh, this was <laughs> there was <laughs> There, there may have been chromosome issues here, but there was no issue on gender. <laughs> this, this, this guy embraced the part. <laughs> yeah, there were uh, a lot of uh, a lot of funny stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dre, you got some, you got some stories coming up in your life that you're going to be very happy. It's your kind experience. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I was supposed to not do the show, but I can um, but do press coverage for WonderCon last year. Uh, well, obviously, no, it's it will do too well. Uh, Oh, and I can't promise it will happen, but there's always the good possibility that at some point during the weekend, you will end up at a bar sitting next to a has-been TV actor who's drunk off their ass. Oh, my goodness. So I've, I've experienced that in the entertainment industry. <laughs> Doing the film festivals and other industry events. Yeah. Who was who the first that replaced... Uh... Suzanne Summers on Three's Company. Patricia Barnes. Patricia Barnes. I, what was it? It was uh, Motor City. Yeah, probably. Yeah, she's been up there. Was just macking hard on Patricia, Patricia uh, Barnes at the bar. Who was? Donnie Most, Ralph Melf from Hatton. Oh, I, yes. I, I didn't see it. You were telling me about that. That was the same night that. Uh, uh, who's the kid from Stargate? You lost Stargate. me there. You lost me there. Um, from the, both the movie and the TV show. Anyways, he was on at the time. <laughs> Sorry, Jonathan is saying, is that Bernie Sanders is Black Cat? No, it's not Bernie. <laughs> I told you, it's Munshaw. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> You know, I get it. He's popular, but that's not right. I need to tag um, Ian in this. All right. What's what's the time? Uh, 18 minutes left. Oh, good. I'm still all right. I'm in good shape. 
ish. Sanders about to go sell that diamond and pay everyone's medical bills. Oh, I needed to put a bow on her. Shoot. I'm going to slap a bow. See if I can make a screen bigger for you. No, you got it. No, you just uh, point the camera closer. Uh, no, I think I think there's a way in StreamYard to highlight a video. Oh, uh, okay. I'm just gonna for a little bit switch between. Yeah, so put there. You go. So you can see what Warner's working on. And if you wanted to zoom in a little bit more, but I did make you full screen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love it. It's great. You got to get the white hair in there. Uh, Marty! <laughs> bring Marty! What are we going to do, Marty? <laughs> Chop at Jehovah's heads! <laughs> Yeah, that's looking really good, Jay. This is zooming in on yours. Oh, thank you. I am uh, using the guy who played Luke Cage as the reference for this. Oh, that works. Uh, what's his name? Yeah, I just have it in a photo right now. I'd look it up. <laughs> Mike Michael something? I think so. I think it's Michael something. Okay, where am I going to put a bow on this? Right behind the ear, like a uh, hello. Boy. Yeah, but I have the rocket launchers there. Okay, Donald, I know it's not enough nipples. You want more nipples? I'll give her more nipples. Give me a sec. I got to figure out the bow first. Um. See, these are conversations you're going to have that are preparing you for the con circuit. <laughs> so some of you know, some of you may not. Um, my girlfriend has a wildlife rescue, right? Primarily squirrels and like little furry things, right? Non-rabies species. So when you get like the little baby chipmunks or squirrels in, um, they got to be fed. They're fed with syringes that have what's called a nipple on them right right and every now and then i'll be doing something and all i hear is shit my nipple rip <laughs> <Right. Da, 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 da. laughs> yeah <laughs> so there's some very strange conversations that happen that that's happen. what she said oh. <laughs> that if someone were to walk in the middle of it thing like oh i took my nipple um <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a good right, so I need more nipples. I'm not putting nipples on this. Do not put nipples on that. No, it's not. armor. It's armor for Christ's sakes. Robin had nipples on his armor. Doesn't make her right. Yeah, it was also directed by Joel Schumacher. Yeah. That's, uh... It's got nothing to do with Batman. It's got everything. That's just bad art direction. Uh, bow, bow, bow. Where am I going to put a bow? I put a bow. Will that work? Yeah. Never mind. All right, now. 
Oh, get back up here. Now, what do we do? Let's do this. Oh, no, that's not going to work. That'll work. Yeah, I don't like. Hey, sexy lady. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh. It was about to happen, wasn't it? I was kidding. <laughs> well, Warner was saying before that um, he's got Gangnam Style stuck in his head. <laughs> and it's all because of a Bernie meme. Oh, that would have been beautiful. Well, I'm sure he could send it to you after. Yeah. Please do. I am not yet sick of these things. I love them. No, oh no, no! It's like I said, it's the smudge of 2021. Exactly. Which you know, I'm surprised no one's done yet with the birdie meme. I've seen it. Bernie. Oh, it has been done. I figures. Yeah, the, the lady, the lady yelling at uh, Smudge, saying, "Wear your gloves," and it's just Bernie sitting there saying, "I prefer mittens." <laughs> Good, but I think it could have been better. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> JB says he's still he's still gonna pretend it's Bernie after he's given up on passing healthcare laws and taking matters into his own hands. What? Uh, the black cat to JB's Bernie Sanders. You won't let it go. It's not Bernie. I told you, Munshaw. <laughs> Michael, have you seen? Did you see what he's doing? What's that? Did you see what he's doing? Let me. Uh, no, I haven't even looked. Yeah, look up at the screen. I'm going to put him up as. Uh, it doesn't look anything like me. No. Oh. Well, okay, maybe a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> this is my reference. I can see it. <laughs> Face a tiger, you hit the jackpot. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, well, let me fix that. Thanks, Warner. You're welcome. Yeah, I'll put an ink line right across mine of that. <laughs> Remember the good old days when you used to say, heads up, I'm going to put the blower on? That was the good old times. Oh, did I Did I not say it? <laughs> no, you're like, bum, 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 bum. Uh, now I just keep remembering the good old days when I hear, oh, my God, my nipple, my nipple ripped. <laughs> <laughs> Way back when. Way back in the remember those days. <laughs> kind of digging the whale tail on uh Spunga. What the hell? Oh no. No 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 no. Where'd it go? Shit. There we go. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Was it eight minutes? Eight minutes. Yeah. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. I got an ink. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm so close to being done. So, what's a reasonable t amount of time to spend on a sketch card? Uh, not, not 45 minutes. Not enough? 
Uh, well, no, I mean, even goofing around in the live streams and stuff, it's how long do they go? Probably an hour and a half. Yeah. I don't know, that's my first one. You, you're doing very well. Thank you. Well, you guys are working on a set. Do you set a time? Like, you're like, all right, I got to get 40 cards done in X amount of days. So I can only spend X amount of time on each card. No. Yeah, and then what happens is that, oh, you know, it's only 11.30 p.m. I can stay up for another two hours and finish this card. Yeah, it's, it's, I, I generally do the, okay, I have to do, you know, depending on whatever the deadline is, you know, it's like, okay, if you got, just as an example, you got a month to do like 30 cards, it's like, okay, I got to get a card a day done. Yeah. But that's not necessarily doing a card in a day because the way that I do it is like that, the uh, assembly line kind of, kind of a thing where I'll like pencil five or six cards at a time then then color then ink you know in stages mm -hmm. so when it's all said and done it's like okay if i did five cards well that would be five days you know so i don't really finish a card a day i just finish five cards in five days yeah yeah assembly line doesn't work for me Uh, the assembly line was the only thing that saved me on Marvel Masterpieces. Oh, masterpieces, such a beat. No way I was going to make that deadline without doing the assembly line. Were you, were you on the first batch? Because we had like five months to do that. Uh, the one ago? Oops, stepping away for a second. Because those came in before COVID and then they were due back in like May or something, right? Yeah, but it was like a hundred and something cards. Yeah. I know it's cold. It looks like I had nothing better to do for most of that time. Okay. I think they showed up during C2E2. Yeah. Was it? I think. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Is that Munshaw having a discussion in the background? No, yeah, I got some people in the kitchen working on dinner. Oh. So Ooh. conversation going on. So what are we having? Uh, so what do we decide on? You guys there? The audio is cut down on me. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Yeah, I can. I, I can hear you now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was just being Warner. You're not funny. You're not funny, Warner. Yeah, you're funny. I'm kidding. You're funny. <laughs> Don't encourage him. I can't quit you. Never saw that movie. think you're missing much. Yeah, really. So I'm surprised you guys never cross paths with Monshaw because Michael, you've been on the concert. Yeah, but I don't do that many um, 
Midwest show. You know, it's mostly East Coast. Yeah, it's it's it, believe it or not, it's actually not as easy to get to the East Coast from the Midwest. <laughs> but it's it's you know, as the crow flies, it's not so bad. But on on land, it's like twice the mileage just from going up and down. You know, the kind of rain. it really really depends on where you're going, though. That's that's kind of the issue. The uh, you know, like some parts of the East Coast are just complete. There's no direct way to get to them from here. Where where are you on the East Coast? Uh, I'm in Maryland, right outside of oh. DC. Okay. So what? Baltimore Comic Con, uh, Dover. Yeah. Actually, that's where uh, the company that I do the pins for, that's where they're out of. Um, if, if things normalize at all, that's, I'll be heading there oh, hopefully soon. That's better. I like markers. I've never really used markers before. I love markers. <laughs> you're a paint guy, right? No, you're um, graphite, dry graphite. medium, graphite and uh, color pencils mostly. Right. And chalk, or is that you being funny? No, that's real. That that's that was real. a that was a discovery I made one time when I was uh, desperate to color something, and uh, I uh, my daughter had a box of sidewalk chalk. And it was like the fluorescent kind. And uh, I just had this crazy idea. And what I did was I uh, sprayed uh, I sprayed the pencil art down, let it dry thoroughly. And then I scrubbed the chalk into these little piles of just powder. And then uh, picked it up with uh, a paper towel and just kind of scumbled it onto the over top of the pencils. And, and it made an absolute beautiful tint. It, it just, because it's so transparent of a color. Right. But if you use like the brighter colors, it really shows up well. The only, the only catch, you know, and I discovered the catch of that is, is like once you do that, then spray it again and then uh, go over top of it with colored pencils just to um, flush it out a little bit, you know, get the darks and the lights in. And right. then you can throw some uh, Pro White on it or anything like that or highlighter or any, any, any kind of highlighter, opaque medium or gel pen. And it just makes it pop like crazy. So, yeah, I kind of discovered that. And it became a real cost-effective and uh, quick way, time-efficient way of throwing color on things. Have you tried using pastels? Doing what? Pastels? Pastels, yes. Yes, I did. It's so that seems like the same color. Uh, I might get back into that, actually. Um, I used to... Uh, do pastel drawings and then uh, brush over them with uh, pure linseed oil and it turns it into, you know, like oil paint, but it's a little easier to, to manage than actually painting with oils. And you can do it like right on a board, or you can even use like an odorless thinner and brush it over top of like a pastel and it becomes almost like a watercolor, but it's still blendable like an oil pastel. Hmm. Uh, by the way, time's up. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> Well, it, it doesn't mean you have to, you know, go home <laughs> saying that, you know, time's up. Dude, I'm out the door. I'm done. I'm up eating pizza. Done. Bye. <laughs> um, All right. Let, let me highlight them. Okay, well, Warner is obviously not paying attention. So let's do Monsha's first. Show where you are. I like her. I like, I like it. Yay, Mancha! Um, Yay for Mancha! Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's Jay. Let's take a look at where you are. Pardon the shadow. Uh, that's all right. That looks good. Very nice. So, did you sign that by hand, or do you have a stamp? I use a template. I sign oh. it by hand, but I use a template. Oh, to get the. I, I do. But I do have a stamp. That's what I use, but it's just too big for this thing. So that's why I did that. Got it. Okay, Warner, let's bring you up. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I love it. I yeah. love it. It's, it's the best. Uh, just oh the right amount of chest. Leave it showing. Right? <laughs> that look in his eye. 
<laughs> now, 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 is the chest really that hairy? Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Very nice. I'm nowhere near ready to <laughs> to call her done. So, yeah. So, hang on, hang on. we got to pick a winner. I I gotta say it's Warner. Yeah, yeah. I gotta say it's Warner. Yeah. Anybody in the Congratulations. in the <laughs> have a, a different opinion? Yeah, bro. How, how can I know? How can you argue that? How? Yeah. <laughs> there is no way. I, I I don't have the highlights on it. Oh, it's not done. It's fine. Yeah. You you can you can finish them off. Um, but yeah, I think you're the clear winner here. Yeah. I think Donald agrees. Brandon agrees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the, of course, the reference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Yawn. Yeah. There we go. Clear right. winner right there. <laughs> You know, if you had the time, Josh, you could have put, you know, Bernie sitting in the background. That would have been great. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, pulling his mittens. Um, yeah, Jan says Warner wins for sure. Donald says that the Iron Woman doesn't have enough lactation sports. I'm not done. Okay, I'm not done. Uh, Kevin says they're all impressive. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kevin. Yeah, I'm gonna keep on working on this. Um, I don't know how you guys are on time. Anybody? Yeah, I gotta get off and go have some dinner. Have some dinner. I yeah, will. I gotta do that. I gotta do that here pretty soon too. Yeah. So okay. I will definitely finish up the card and I'll post it uh, on the fan group page with the link to the um, stream here. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, before you leave, um, you want to shout out your channels again? Oh, uh, sure. On Instagram, it's the Art of M2. On Facebook, it's Michael Munshaw. There's also an art page of Art of M2 on Facebook. And then I have my general website, which is Art of M2. See how it all ties together? Easy to remember. And are you open for commissions? And I am open for commissions, yes, sir. Okay, so hit up Michael at yeah. all the channels. If you can't remember it, message me and I'll link you up. Well, thanks for hopping on. Thanks for doing it. Uh, yeah, no, thanks for having us. It was fun to get do this again. It had been a while since we've done it. So. Yeah, it's a pleasure. We'll do it again. Yep. Happy 2021, everybody. Yeah. Hey, nice meeting, nice meeting you, man. Yeah, same here, Jay. Take care. You too. Hey, Mike. Yeah. <clears throat> Jay, you sticking around or are you bouncing? I'm going to bounce, I think. Okay, so you want to do a... Recap of your socials and whatnot. Yeah, um, Facebook, uh, JE Fife Illustration on uh, Facebook and uh, JE Fife Illustration on Instagram. Um, or actually, J Fife Junior on Instagram. Uh, that's that's where my nudes are. I don't have my fans only site set up yet, but uh, sorry, just to be clear, those are nudes of yourself or your of course, family. of course. All right, just want to make sure that we set the expectations. Just kidding, guys. Just kidding. Now, uh, Instagram and uh, Instagram and Facebook. Uh, right now, I dropped Twitter. Uh, it was just getting too weird, so I, I just got away from that. But um, other than that, I do post an awful lot of stuff on the Facebook. And uh, I am open for commissions. Um, hell, I would like to do some more of these cards. That was fun. That did not take nearly as long as I thought. It was. Uh, it was a lot of fun to do. Cool. Glad to hear. Uh, if you ever want to come back on, let me know. I'm going to try to do this weekly. I, will, I would love to, and I promise I will remember and be on time next time. Yeah, because otherwise you all saw pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. All well, right. So Thank, you for, Thank you very much. Yeah, See you, Warner. Later. Bye-bye. Bye. Um, yeah, I can stick around for a little bit. Yeah, so can I. I'll uh, keep on working on it. Um, but I did, I think I did wrap it. I think I'm, well, maybe I'll throw a little bit of color just in the background. 
but for the most part, it's done. It's done. Ah, it's, that's a pretty decent likeness. Uh, yeah, it is. I can see. Uh, <laughs> um, I can see why uh, JD thought it was Bernie. Oh, yeah. but I can definitely see the mantra. There's a little mod shot everywhere. Yeah, I have to t take a snapshot of this and. Uh, yeah, post it in the comments. Post it in the comments, yeah. Yeah, I'll do a comment after with everyone's links um, and all the channels to make it easier to find. I mean, don't get me wrong, Munshaw's no Pat King, but. Oh, I mean, man. <laughs> Can you bring that back up? Uh, JD wants to do a screenshot. Hang on, oh. let me put it on solo mode, too. One sec. You get it? I don't know, but he can always rewind. Yeah. Uh, was there for uh, Gordon wants to know, how did your claim sale go? Went pretty good. Went pretty good. Um, just shipped out the uh, uh, the last, or actually, no, just got just got the money for the last one. That'll be getting shipped out here pretty soon. Um, but yeah, it was it was all right. Um, you know, it was a, it was a you know it was kind of an impromptu thing. It wasn't something that I you know. Uh, really kind of threw out there and gave much of a heads up on. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, those plexiglass things are, uh, people are digging them. So, I mean, I had other, other cards that were available, but pretty much the only things that moved were the, uh, plexiglass. Yeah. People are losing their mind over it. So. You need to. Can you do bigger ones? You have bigger plexi. Oh, you know what? I did. Um, I've got two five by sevens. Oh yeah. So that I, uh, you know, it was another thing that I was going to cut up, and I was like, you know what? Let's instead of doing like a handful of cards out of this, let's just do two five by sevens. Because yeah, that would be nice. That could be uh, interesting. Maybe even etch the, uh, like the, uh, the marks into it. Oh yeah, yeah. Just don't go too heavy because you'll just crack it. For standard, you know, for a standard card. Oh, etch the crop marks like, um, mm -hmm. like an overcut, oversize. Exactly. Yeah. Like Those are four by five, I think. What's that? Those are four by five. Okay, and maybe I'll have to cut them down to four by five. Uh, oh. Brown says, I'm telling you, like a big stained glass arrangement of different characters would be awesome. And JD is all about the large proxy sketches, says those are going to be sick. And I agree. Should be giant ones. Should be 11 by 17 with every mutant ever. <laughs> danger room. Yeah, like a big old danger room scene. Yeah, the um, yeah, there was a. I was I was lurking on the uh, the EPAC message board, and uh, yeah, man, those uh, even those guys are like aware of the plexis. Yeah, they're making their rounds, man. So, I think somebody somebody had actually posted something along the lines of um, if Upper Deck does plexis again that uh, said Warner needs to show him how to do it or whatever. <laughs> JD says need to get them to do that for an actual set and have you do the large plexis as redemptions. That, that sure. be... Warner Glass. Trademark pending. Yeah. Use under license. I should get a patent. You probably can.
see, let's do a do a spray this down real quick. Oh, is that just sealant? Yeah. I've been I dude, I've been down with this varnish as opposed to fixative. Is it workable though? No. No, this is the just the the Kamar. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, oh, Gordon says he saw a post in group from Marvel Ages. Did they, uh, they, so that was an official post from UB. It just says February. There's no fixed date, but yeah, that means it's coming out soon. Finally. Hey, Gordon, were you on that? I don't think he can either confirm or deny it. Oh, because they didn't do the checklist. Yeah. Well, we know Ray Roch was on it because they used one of his sketches and uh, release. Oh, okay. Or was it Dominic? No, it was Ray. But they didn't uh, do a checklist for it? I haven't seen one yet. But people are still asking, like, when can you pre-order and all that stuff? Because it's been kind of a mixed uh, communication. Yeah. I'm curious to see uh, the a checklist for the uh, um, what was it the the set that that the guy was talking about on the podcast the set that is um, heavily, one artist and heavily based on sketch cards. He didn't actually announce it, but. Anyways, curious. Yeah, we can guess what it is. Yeah. Um, curious to see that checklist. That's going to be a while. What's that? That's going to be a while. Yeah. So that comes out, right? Yeah, I'm just curious as to. Yeah, characters. Oh, you mean the the ban list? Well, that too, but all oh, the characters that are included in it. Yeah, that won't be till closer to the actual release of the product, though. I would imagine. You let's see. She's seven fifteen. Okay. Getting hungry. Yeah, I had a slice of uh, whatever frozen pizza or something before jumping on. I gotta go to the store and get some more top loaders. I, I can't find top loaders and penny sweets anywhere. I gotta order on my Amazon for like twenty dollars for a twenty pack. It's ridiculous. Wow. Yeah, I just I'd go up and it's like. And get a pack of them or whatever for like a buck or something at the local store. Yeah, they nobody here has any. I mean, they're like a dollar fifty for not even regular. Like, uh, you don't have any like sports card stores, like baseball card stores. Yeah, we do, but they don't have any. They have like the super thick ones, right? But the plain stuff, they just don't have any. Huh. Never mind that everything's in lockdown, so they're not actually open right now. But oh yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I got to like order on Amazon from the guys that are. Ripping off some very frugal with my top loaders and penny sleeves. I'm trying to reuse anything that I can just because I don't know when I'll be able to get some. And same thing with the one touches. There's no more. Um, well, I don't have access to any of them right now, but we'll see. Hopefully, in a couple of weeks, if yeah, things I'm lay out. There's a there's a shop right down the street from my house. So. They do mainly sports, obviously, and then of course they've always got the magic game set up or whatever. But yeah. of course, that's not happening because of you know everybody being kind of the well, Ronas. Not yeah, no, nobody can get together. Um, all right, I gotta bounce in like ten minutes. Yep, but I'm gonna try to put down a layer of. Color layer on this so we can dry overnight and maybe 
Oh no, I need to finish that my frost before I finish this one. But anyways, to have something I can on later. And then I'll cut it. Call it a day. I don't think I'll make it on time to catch Sean's stream. Today today it's Sean, not on Sean's channel, it's not Rodney's, right? Yeah, it's on Sean's. Yeah, I'll I gotta pop in. I haven't I've been yeah, you've been MIA. They've been talking smack about you for months. Well, dude, I've been this week. I actually took this week off from the whole, whole renovation new, business. Yeah, the um, but we finished the bedroom. It's fucking fantastic, man. Nice. So the floors and everything. Yeah, floors, floors, molding, uh, closet doors, paint, uh, brand new light fixture. Damn, which was it was it was pretty funny because um you had a ceiling fan in there, but because like the light switch is actually connected to an outlet, you know it yeah. it doesn't go to an electrical box in the ceiling. What they did, well, you know, th the prior owners, um, they basically just hung this thing from a bracket, you know, on a stud in the middle of the room. And then, like, spliced in, like, an extension cord. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that sounds safe. And just plugged it into plugged it into the outlet and then stapled this extension cord to the ceiling and then down the wall into the outlet. And then it's been painted over, like, numerous times. <laughs> so I had to, like, you know, a lot of the, you know, my prep work was having to peel all that stuff off and then sand down the paint that, you know, in the ridges so I could, uh, you know, clean it up. And then I had to run a uh, conduit, you know, to a, you know, put a box in, run conduit uh, to the, uh, to the light switch end of the power and stuff like that. So. Yeah, that sounds like a fun project. Yeah, that was good times. So and then, uh, yeah. And then, you know, painted it up did the uh the hardest part about doing it was actually playing musical chairs with everything in the uh room oh just moving furniture around yeah yeah <laughs> it's still like live a, in the space you'd get as much as you can out but like things like oh man it's like i can't move this out of here kind of a thing there's no place to put it in the house so it's like you move everything over to one side of the room do some of the flooring then move it back over to where the flooring was that you did you know, to do more flooring. Yeah. So, but it only took a week to. You're to, doing that all by yourself? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's not bad. So it was, it was pretty good, pretty quick. Um, but yeah, well. I've spent, I've spent the last few months just, you know, crawling out of bed every morning, just, you know, sore from. You know, Tearing up the house? <laughs> kicking, kicking the crap out of myself you know lifting and moving and working upside down and things like that well at least you're doing it while you're still young yeah yeah well that's that's kind of why i'm doing it now because eventually it's got to get done anyways and I'm not getting any younger so but the next project is uh the hallway in the foyer uh and actually, my wife asked me about that today. Hey, when are you going to do that? And I was like, ah, you know what? I'm I'm taking a minute. <laughs> so I'll probably start on that next week. So. Anywho, when does uh, when is uh, Sean and Rodney on? Eight. Are they on now? They're on at eight. So like forty minutes. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I tuned in yesterday. They're doing right, right. Uh, Joe's, but uh, I there I was I Joe like tuned in last night. They're working on GI Joe stuff, and I think today they're doing non turtle Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle characters like Bebop and Rocksteady and. Um, okay. yeah. Sorry. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, I probably won't catch them on time, but. Yeah, I had to kind of, there was a, it, it, 
definitely during like the whole Mandalorian season, I had to not watch just because of the spoilers. Oh. <laughs> So now it's going to be, now it's like WandaVision season. Yeah, yeah they went into a whole WandaVision thing yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> and Jamie had to mute himself for going on with WandaVision for like 15 minutes. Yeah, no, I think, and I've done that I, where they started talking about stuff. And I was like, I just bail, <laughs> you know? Um, okay, well, I got to I gotta wrap it up because I got to get right, home cool. for some dinner. Um. Yeah, thanks for joining in. Everyone yeah. joining to the stream of the comment, thanks so much. Um, I will probably be, if everything goes well, I'll be streaming at some point this weekend, probably Sunday afternoon. Uh, hopefully get the Emma Frost card done. Um, Jay, are you streaming? Do you have anything scheduled? Um, yeah, I think I think what I'm going to do is on Monday, I think I might do a stream on the uh, Marvel Masterpieces page. Okay. Uh, where I'm gonna play around with that Zemo card. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Um, because I mean, it was it got to the point where that guy was trying to sell it, and nobody was biting, and I was like, man, just somebody buy it. I I almost bought it myself just to so he would stop posting it. Oh. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but he was like, <clears throat> I was like, you know what? Just send it to me, and I'll. I'll rework it, do a stream, and then, and uh, you know, goof around with it. So I think I might do that on Monday. And of course, uh, I'm planning on doing the uh, the regular Wednesday draw. Cool. You know, draw. Draw. So, draw. Yeah, getting getting you know more more people kind of popping in to check those out. So that's fun. Right on. So okay. All right. Well, again, thanks for joining. Awesome card. Um oh, yeah, let's, you let's want, bring this thing back then. Yeah. You want to throw up uh just repeat your channels and whatever? Yeah, it's, it'll post uh, it in the comments. JL Warner seventy two on the Instagram, Art of Jalen Warner on Facebook, uh also Adventures of Mighty Moose. Mighty Moose. And then, uh, yeah, and I'm I'm popping in and out, all the other, you know, the little groups and stuff, lurking mostly. So, <laughs> awesome. Brian says, uh, "Thanks, guys. Good to see another one of these." Yeah, I'm really hoping that I can put one of these together every Friday, or every other Friday at the very least. Uh, yeah, it's it's a fun it's, a fun it's a fun get together because I mean it's yeah. like it, zero pressure, you know, just yeah. off, you know. Yeah, and I know Gordon. Gordon, we got to get Gordon back in. Yeah, just got to get him scheduled in, and Jason, and Harl, and Paul Hill, if you can figure out his time. Yeah, we got to work around his schedule, too. Yeah, because, you know, he's in the UK, and uh, one of these days we're going to have Sean on as well. Yep. Uh, Ronnie's going to come back on Monday. And that's it. So, yeah, um, that's it for now. Gordon, Jonathan, Brandon, uh, who else is here? Tommy, Kevin, Jan, Donald, Jamie. Uh, if I miss anyone, I'm sorry. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for this ongoing support. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Yeah. 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 Have a great weekend. You too, man. Later. Later.